In this episode, David captures Ellie, and you see Joel is slowly recovering because Ellie was able to get him medicine. And you're waiting for him to do the traditional hero thing, which he's going to burst through the door, he's going to kill David, he's going to save Ellie, and then they can continue on the journey. Ow! And we wanted none of that. We think of it as our cold episode. That one was really cold. Um, and it needed to be, because the episode in many ways is about deprivation. Shooting in February in Calgary was freezing. Obviously also holding a freaking rifle up. So <laughs> like a five minute scene <laughs> was tricky. And there was three or four house size wind machines that were just pummeling me with snow. <laughs> yeah, so that was hard. <laughs> You thirsty? So we find ourselves in this darkest place with the darkest version of Joel. And Ellie is forced to survive on her own. This sequence is the thing that inspired me or like made me want to make the game. So in the game, at this point, you play as Ellie. And it's this really wonderful moment when you watch people play it because they almost always say, oh my God, I'm Ellie. You're quite a hunter. We didn't even hear you coming. Turn around and walk away. She is prickly and doesn't trust anybody. Naturally, she obviously isn't gonna trust a random guy and his buddy in the middle of a snowy forest. What do you need? We have boots. Medicine? Like for infections. We do. David presents as the good dad. And we begin to wonder if maybe she has met the one good person out there. We, of course, see fairly early on that there's also a very dark part of David. We bring her back with us. I'm gonna lead them away from you. But if anybody makes it down here, you fucking kill them, you got it? When he captures Ellie. Three, two, one, we are all meant to feel hopeless because it is hopeless for her. And we also come to understand two things that maybe weren't immediately clear. One is that David is a bad father in a terrible bad way. And the other is that these people that Ellie finds herself amongst have been eating their own dead. You're gonna chop me up into little pieces. I'd rather not. Really, what he'd like is for her to be his little minion, his little wife. Once Ellie begins to realize that, the relationship becomes a lot more tense and a lot more scary and a lot more dangerous. You're a natural leader. You're smart, loyal. Violent. She's surprised by the accusation. You don't know anything about me. She has no choice but to recognize some truth in that. And uh, certainly David believes he's about to turn her. You have a violent heart, and I should know. I've always had a violent heart. David says something to her that's absolutely true, because he sees it in her, because he knows it's in him. He says, you have a violent heart. Ow! 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 And that is something that Neil and I talked about quite a bit. It's not in the game, that line. As much as we love her, we also have to be a little scared of her. Tell them that Ellie is a little girl who broke her fucking finger! You did the, uh, the some part. You were lying down, yes. and you hit. Yes. I went up a little like this. My connection to this story and really this world is is a little bit more unique than others. The sawmill scene exists in the game to endear David to Ellie, and to see this come to life in a completely different way. Um, it's been a mind trip, man. It really has been. Top mark. And action. Please 
Don't! Your Don't! I'm infected! David. No. Playing any character is an upgrade from, from what I thought I was going to be able to do. I thought I was going to be like a clicker. Oh. <laughs> Ellie gets to demonstrate this incredible moment of, you know, intellect and resilience and also just ferocious violence. And she plants that cleaver right here and I slam up against the wall and, and I slump up against this thing and I slide down. And I was like, that looks awesome. Ellie. You don't know how good I am! We see Joel coming to help her, and we are rooting for Joel to save her, but that's not gonna get it done. In the end, the only person who can save Ellie is Ellie. And how? Violence. <laughs> it scars her in a way that forever changes her. In a way, Joel saves her, but more emotionally. She's just so broken that she doesn't know what to say, and she's covered in blood. And then she just looks him right in the eye, and she leans forward and hugs him. It's OK. It's OK, baby girl. I got you. And all he can say is this thing that he hasn't said in 20 years, which is baby girl, which is what he called his daughter. At the end of this story, you can see something snap in her. And the question is, is it permanent or can she find her way back?